wish there was a way to just skip this. A wild bumblebee. You see, why did I, why didn't, why didn't I find that? I want to find a new Pokemon. Like, come on. Let's see what the 3D looks like. That is, that is too damn much. No wonder why no one uses it. And it's not even all that impressive, you know what I mean? Like, I thought the 3D would have been, like, the Pokemon actually coming out the screen, actually, where stuff happening. But it's just like looking into a box, man. There's nothing too impressive about that. Okay, you're going to take forever showing me how to catch a Pokemon. I get it, you know? This is... Oh, boy. Now, also, guys, in terms of scheduling, a lot of you guys were asking me, you know, how often are you going to post? Because I'll be honest with you, that last video that I posted, I was tired as fuck, and I wasn't even feeling the game that much. It was only 10 minutes simply because I wanted to be done with the thing, but... I mean, I'll, be, I'll try to see if I can make future videos a little bit longer, but the thing is, is that I'm going to be releasing these at a relatively frequent pace, so it's not going to be a Shofu standard where I release an episode every 10 minutes, but it's going to be along those lines where I'll be releasing an episode every 6 hours. So at 6 o'clock p.m. you'll get it, then 12 o'clock a.m. you'll get it, then 6 o'clock again a.m. you'll get it, then, 6 then 12 o'clock p.m. you'll get it. You see what I mean? Every 6 hours I'll be posting a walkthrough video so you guys can, like, you know, you know, um, all time zones can catch me because I have a lot of viewers in Japan, so I'll make it like that so you guys can catch on to my schedule. No problem. That's the least I could do. So even if the episodes are 10, 12 minutes, you'll be getting one every six hours. And I mean, also you have to consider that I'm using a really, really HD camera to get my picture and my reaction. So if I make the videos any longer than that, it takes really long time to, I mean, well, not really long time, but it's definitely a little bit more of a hindrance on like the uploading. And that's why, so, oh, okay, I gotta cast this guy. Please do not kill him, Amphione. Alright. Woo, that animation, okay. Alright, let's see, um, let's hit him with a pound. I should make things a little bit. Man, we need more dynamic angles. Like, it should have been dynamic camera throughout the entire battle, and not just, like, you know, only when you're not doing anything. Anyways, this is a perfect opportunity to cast this bitch, so let's do that. Get your ugly ass inside my Pokeball. Yeah, I want my first catch to be a, a Gen 6 Pokemon, not a fucking Pidgey. Like, really? Why, why are you even here? No one likes you. And Pidgeotto is one of the biggest disappointments in the Pokemon world, you know? So, come on. Afiane gets experience even when a Pokemon's caught. Okay. I heard something about that, but it's really true. Okay. So, special attack is up by two, attack is up by one. Okay. <laughs> and tears are like shovels. Seeing holes strengthens its ear so much that they can sever thick roots effortlessly. Okay. Do I want to give a nickname? No, no nickname. I can't even think of a nickname right now. Nicknames are going to be very difficult. I'll give a nickname to the main people that I catch, but not a nickname to some regular old fucking Pokemon like this. Like, what is that? Okay, what she got to say? If I find a cute Pokemon, I throw lots of Pokeballs at it, and we'll become friends. Well, I found a cute female, and I want to throw all my balls at that. <laughs> oh, God. Kids are watching me. <laughs> Alright, this ain't Tabuska's channel, nigga. We cursing this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, I already got one of these, so there's no need in catching another one. Let's just beat its ass, though. Okay. Apparently, Amphiyane has a lot of special attacks, so I'm guessing that... Either mine must be like a special attack boosting nature or because I, I really didn't look at any spoilers I don't know what Greninja's final stats would be like or the base stat total of Froki so Hey man, this is all reaching me very very new so I have no idea but from the last level up I got special attack EVs so hey that works out Oh man, these, these wild battles are going to be hindrance so let's just um, let's just actually skip forward man We don't need to get through any of this bullshit Fucking I think we caught most of the Pokemon on this route anyway. Well, are you gonna give me a fucking rat attack? Okay, a wild scatterbug appeared. Let's catch it. Why not? Alright, you're gonna have to be real careful with this one, Alfie, honey. This, this guy looks like if you breathe on him too hard, you'll rip him in half. Alright. You see? Critical hit. Look at that. This guy's bitch me. <laughs> really? <sighs> okay, this game is actually a lot more fun to me now. I don't know why, but earlier I wasn't feeling it, but now I kind of am, you know? Maybe because I'm looking at the screen rather than my TV. That might just be a part of the reason, but... Hey, man, let's see. This is totally good. Excellent, excellent. We, you know, we are two steps closer to becoming a Pokemon master out of 700 fucking Pokemon, man. Can you believe that? 700 Pokemon exist now. That's a lot of freaking Pokemon, dude. Oh, boy. 
The powder that covers his body regulates his temperature so he can live in any region or climate. Interesting. Do I get him a nickname? No. Nicknames only go to the treasured members of the squadron. When two trainers' eyes meet, a Pokemon battle must begin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, YouTuber6061. Youngster Austin. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend was like squealing about how cute Zigzag Goon is in this game. And it is kind of cute now that I'm looking at it. Like, oh, you are so derp with there, Jen. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can hurry this up. Beat his ass real quick, get that experience, move on. Also, when it growls, it actually opens his mouth. That's pretty. They gave the animation some real love and attention in this game. Like that's they put some real detail in there. They changed the noise of it. They changed the sound. Wasn't Zigzag Zoom Zigzag Zoom sound like a oh? But they made it more HD. I think. I think they made it more HD. Zigzag Zoom sound was a little bit different from that. It wasn't the same. Okay, my attack is good. My special attack is good. I learned Quick Attack. Excellent, excellent. Um, Feyane is a good... You should have told me that you were that strong. I think I received 120 for winning. No models for the trainers, huh? They just gave them a... Well, you know what? This is still, at the end of the day, a handheld game, so I bet they couldn't go all out for that. They gave the rivals models, but they didn't give the trainers any. Understandably so. I wish they would have shown the whole trainer, though, because according to Shofu's videos, those female trainers get pretty nice to look at later on in the game. I would have loved if they had shown the whole body shot, because I don't know about you guys, but I'm a leg man. You know, I love girls' legs, so that's what I'm talking about. Oh, he stretches! What a cute little bastard! This, the, the trainer is actually likable in this game. Time to get in some practice with the Pokemon in the tall grass, and I better heal up my Pokemon first. Damn right, you've done this. What, what's the force? Santa Loon Forest ahead. Okay, let's, let's go in. Let's turn the volume up. I want to hear what's going on in this bitch. Wait up, let's walk together. I feel like something exciting will happen if you stay by you. I'll hear your Pokemon whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, something exciting's gonna happen, all right, woman. You stay by me? Oh yeah, this is the forest, keep an eye out for her. Want me to heal your Pokemon, Dez? No, it's fine. Show me how to do that though, and then we'll be even. All right, let's go on a journey. Got us a potion in this biatch. All right then, so. Oh, that's the girl trainer. Okay, well, well, first off, let's see what's in this direction. The graphics in this game are crazy. This way leads to a dead end. I just have to save my progress so I don't forget. Thank you for reminding me, friend. Thank you for reminding me. The game saves really, really fast, too. Look at that. That's instant. That's freaking instant. Found an antidote. Hmm. Okay. Put the antidote in the medicine pockets. The pocket system was one of the greatest things to ever hit Pokemon, man. That helped organization so much. Oh, it's a Weedle! Oh, I'm gonna catch your ass, motherfucker. Come here, come here, get, get hit with this Quake Attack. Oh, wow, so that was Quake Attack. I thought that, when I saw the trailers for X and Y, I thought that that was a water slash, like a whoosh, whoosh. But no, that's a Quake Attack, all right. Whatever, this Weedle's gonna be mine. Come here. I shouldn't have to hold it. Remember, you know how people used to hold down the A button to make sure that they catch that bitch? I don't think that ever did anything, so, yeah. And Fiyane gained 11 experience points. This actually helps a lot, man. Like, that really means something. The fact that you're getting experience just from catching them bitches. Very good stuff there. This poison stinger is very powerful. It's bright colored bodies intended to warn off its enemies. But it winds up looking adorable, so they want to eat them even more now. No, no nickname for you. You're not going to be in the main squadron, but you're definitely going to be part of the the people that I catch. You're going to get boxed real quick, but you know, hey man, at least you're, you got caught. Wow, a pen pour in the wild? Could you find these guys in the wild in black and white? I don't know for a fact, but hey man, it's whatever. We're going to catch your ass too. Fuck it, you're, you're going down in the squadron, man. Did you notice that his head looks like a nuclear explosion? Like how the cloud looks? Like that's exactly what I said when I first saw this guy. He looks exactly like that. I'm sorry if I'm fucked up for being able to see that in this guy, but that's what I see when I look at this guy. Let's beat his ass down real quick, catch him, gain that experience, which is very, very useful. I think you can gain experience just by freaking... Beautiful! That's, that's beautiful, boy! Let's get that ass. Get inside my balls! 
Let me see what that 3D is. The 3D is not that impressive in this game, man. It's just not. It's not. Sorry. Nintendo, I know you're going to hate me for that, but no, it's not that impressive in this game. I would expect this stuff to pop out. The 3D is not even available in the overworld. <sighs> okay, so... Panpour. The water stored inside his top and his head is full of nutrients. Plants that receive its water grow large. What? Am I fucked up that I can see a sexual joke in so many things? Like, I'm not, I'm not aroused or horny or anything. Like, I can just see subtle references to sex and everything.